Hi everyone, it's me, Beatty Kelly Sunflower. So autumn is <laughs> approaching soon and I'll be changing around my tarot deck. So I thought I'd flip the camera around and show you my autumn decks. Okay, so I'll flip the camera around and these decks are in no particular order. So because I find autumn quite a cosy month, I tend to go for decks with larger guidebooks and decks that I can really get my kind of teeth into. So the first deck that I want to show you, which I intend to be working with for the autumn season, is the Wild Wood Tarot. This deck was gifted to me by the lovely Patsy um, from the channel Patsy T, I believe, when we met up last year in Petersburg. So let's open it up. It comes in this lovely lift that box. This is a system that I'm not really kind of used to. It it comes, the cards come separated in two compartments. Um, let's have a look at the book. So it's by Will Wer Worthington. And I've put up this deck so many times and tried to kind of work with it, but um, just haven't had the time but normally in autumn i tend to be more of a homebody so i thought i'd um you know work with the deck try and read some of the guidebook for the autumn months so it's quite a meaty kind of guidebook um which i'm looking forward to working with um some of the, um, well, actually a lot of the cards have been changed in terms of names. So, for example, the, what we would call the Empress has been renamed the Green, Green Woman. So it gives you a little blurb about the um, Green Woman. Then it gives you a description. It gives you the meaning and stuff for each card. So because it is a different system, I, I like to take my time and kind of study these decks normally in the autumn because I've got more time to kind of read up. So this book is, let me see how many pages it is, it's 159 pages. So let me just show you some of the cards. So I've got gorgeous kind of backs. And you know, seven of vessels, I'm assuming will be the seven of cups. I and mean, then it gives you like a keyword. Three of arrow, arrows, which is the three of swords. And it's got jealousy. I wouldn't really interpret the three of swords as jealousy. But it'd be good to read up on the guidebook to see why the author or creator um, use those keywords. Then the forest lovers would be the lovers card. Um, Ten of Stones, Home, Page of Stones, Links. So this is the first deck that I'd like to be working with for the, for the autumn season. Um, another deck. This one here is the Forest of the Enchantment. I've opened the deck, but I haven't actually... Um, kind of used it. I've just flipped through it so I'm looking forward to working with this deck for the for the autumn. Comes with a lovely guidebook and it's written by Luina Weatherstone. So it's got here the forest of the enchantment is both welcoming and forbidding, beautiful and bewildering. It is where you can seek your fortune or your own true nature. A place of delight, a place of grim despair. Follow the white heart and begin your adventure. So let's have a, it's beautiful, the book. It's um, nice paper. This is, this is the first edition and it's a Llewellyn publication. Uh, 
Um, it goes through the major arcana, um, which is called the forest journey. The forest towers is the minor arcana. And then um, I, I believe that these might be the court cards. So the child, I'm assuming, is the page, the seeker, the knight, the weaver, the queen and the keeper, the king in the traditional um, tarot deck. I mean, it gives you some spreads and tarot journal so um i just i just like the way that it's kind of like laid out it shows you how to care for your deck how do you memorize the meanings it's just it looks like a well thought out kind of guidebook talks about reversals which i do use in my readings and it gives you a blurb here about the major arcana so, you know, the four, which is renamed the White Heart, gives you a blurb about that. It gives you the meaning at a glance. So, a new beginning, accepting an invitation, going forward with trust. The journey begins, follow your instincts. And then it gives you a closer look. And it does that for each of the um, the cards. It looks like the suits have been changed as well. But again, I, I feel that autumn is a, a good time to really kind of like look at this deck a bit closer. So let me just show you a few cards. So beautiful cardstock kind of mat. Um, I think this cardstock is different to the usual Llewellyn cardstock. In my opinion, beautiful backs, which are fully kind of reversible. So you've got the um, the wise woman, which would be the high priestess. The white heart, which is the fall. The enchanter, which would be the magician. It's got like a fae kind of feel to it as well the green mother which would be the empress okay so the next deck that i'd like to be working with for the autumn months is called the shadowland tarot by monica Peritsky. again i haven't really worked with this deck i've just kind of opened it and flicked through it but i thought to keep on saying that autumn would be a good time to kind of delve into it a bit more so it comes with a flip open box this is the guide book it's very meaty kind of guide book which i'm looking forward to kind of reading it's a red feather publication which is kind of shiffer i, I just love the artwork of this deck and this guidebook is really kind of looks like it's really well written it gives you the major arcana the minor arcana I and mean, then it goes through each of the each of the suits um then you've got a bit about how to use the cards the card layouts tarot frequently asked questions bibliography which i like to see in a book I like the fact, you know, that it's got a colours card, colour illustrated card. Um, it gives you a bit of a blurb about the card, talks about the card, gives you the keywords, gives you the shadows, gives you messages and reflections about the card. So, for example, for the magician, the reflections are, what tools or skills do I possess? to help me move forward with my goal. How can I rely on my own knowledge and the advice of others in a balanced way? What do I crave to make or create my, with my life? Am I acknowledging and applying all my skills? Where do I get stuck when I try to manifest my vision? So it looks like a, quite a deep book. And I like that they've got the kind of like spiders as kind of like thumb kind of marks. Let's have a look, quick look at the cards. So 
so I actually got the case um, for this deck. Lovely gold edges. My my cards are kind of bent a bit, so I don't know how to straighten them out. Lovely matte thick paper. Look at that, the Empress. See the growth around her. She looks like she's pregnant there. Lovely reversible backs. So you've got the Empress. The High Priestess. The Magician. And the Four, which has been renamed the Seeker. So again, I look forward to working with this deck for the autumn months. Another deck that I'm looking forward to working with, Hit Chip Tarot. It's another Schiffer um, publication. It's not autumn-ish, in my opinion, in terms of the colour palette, but it gives me a warm, kind of cosy feeling every time I work with it. So it comes with this guidebook. Let's have a quick look at the guidebook. It's by Maria Storm. Um, published in 2018, really nicely laid out. So it's got a message from Maria, the Major Arcana, the Minor Arcana, the Family Cards, which will be the Court Cards, how to use the Hip Chip Tarot, um, Spiritual Growth, Everyday Life and the Cards, Reversals, Favourite Spreads. I do like it when a book is really kind of like simply written you know not too much jargon because i read all day as i live in i have to read loads and loads of information so I, I like it if i'm reading for pleasure that the book's just laid out nice and i like the way that this book has been laid out um the suits have been kind of um renamed it's just a gorgeous book the um I feel that Karate could be the Wands and the Boss is the Queen. So it gives you like a description and it gives you a meaning as well for each of the cards. Okay, so if you, look, if you take, for example, the suit of, of Phil, this would be in a traditional deck, um, the, the suit of cups. So she says here, blue, the colour of water flows through this beautiful suit. Phil cards are about love and your connection to all of creation. They invite you into the realm of your heart and reveal the truth about your relationships to self, others and all that's going on in your life. Phil cards call you to honour your feelings as teachers and learn to tune in deeply so you can hear the messages that they bring to you. It takes courage to own your feelings, all of them, even the ones that you aren't that aren't pleasant by calmly asking yourself what you're feeling you turn non-verbal messages into words and as as if by magic the unconscious becomes conscious making your feelings comfortable is important allow yourself to be sad or sacred cultivate compassion for the feelings and watch it melt away leaving you with important insight into your into your situation kind of like a minimal kind of deck and i do look forward to working with it for the autumn months so i'm going to show you a few of the cards so the create i feel a wands and as you can see there's red in the background for fire that's the fall so the major arcana um creator will be the magician have got like purple background the suit of phil which i feel is cups has got blue background so you've got the um think card which is the air the air suit and that's swords and that's like got like a mustardy kind of color so this would be the six of swords in this additional deck the seven of swords and then The 
the earth deck which would be the pentacles has got like it's like a brownie kind of um background and I, I do like decks that kind of um differentiate um suits by colour because I'm quite a visual kind of person. Okay, so another deck, autumn deck is the bone fire tarot. Again it's a book, a guidebook deck so I can have a nice little read and this is by Gabby Jingus West. I love the um, kind of sepia background, it's easy on the eye to read for me. So it goes into the um, major arcanas, the minor arcanas and then into each of the suits. The right one in this book looks like it's a bit small, but what it does, it gives you a full colour illustration of the um, of the card um, and gives you a basic meaning. Then it says what the bone fire says. And it's, it's quite a lot of detail for each card. It also goes into the symbols as well. So this would be like a nice little moody read. So let's have a look at some of the cards. Um, in this deck I do find this I do find the artwork kind of busy um, but at the same time also appealing so this is the star two of wands three of wands the seven of wands and the four so another deck is this one here. This is um, my first um, tarot deck. I've actually done a flip through of this deck. It's a, it's a tarot system and it says here the easiest and most accurate tarot reading that you can do. Um, this is the guidebook. These are the cards. Let's just take them out. Oops, Daisy. So this is more of a um, of a system, and it's kind of like an an eight card system. Where so if, I, if I show you, so if, for example, now each card has eight positions. So let's say, for example, now that um, I have this three of pentacles. And it's in the first position, which is where you are. So it says here, you are usually a hard worker and like to do things and others might see you as a thorough perfectionist. If it was in the position distant past, it would mean another thing. So what it is, um, this kind of um, system gives you a perspective of... Um, each card in various positions and the positions are where you are, distant past, recent past, happening now, crossing you, around you, your advice and current feature. So it gives you more of a thorough kind of um, perspective of, of um, each of the cards, which I think is good because people just tend to have generic meanings for the cards, but the cards can mean different things in different placements. And then um, it comes with a um, guidebook and it's another Schiffer publication and the guidebook just gives you um, more, more kind of information on the eight placements. Um, it gives you um, a time frame as well for, it, for the cards. and um, gives you more meanings to the cards as well. So I personally think this is a good deck to study with. Um, and I think it's also good for, for beginners because it, it gives you thorough kind of 
meanings to each card. So that's a deck. This is a deck that I'll be looking forward to working with for the autumn months. Next one here is the Tarot of the Hidden Realms. It's a kind of fey based um, deck. It's by Barbara Moore and Julia Jeffrey. Um, I've had this deck for quite a while, but it's because it's a different system, it's a deck that I need to sit down with and kind of work with in conjunction with the um, guidebook. Um, it's got black and white illustrations. Um, it looks like quite a meaty book. You know, it talks about the role of the reader, um, shuffling the cards, the purpose of, you know, a reading, um, laying out the cards, interpreting the reading. You know, and then, you know, getting acquainted. It's got here the major arcana. So for each card, each card, it gives you kind of like the meaning and no, like a blurb about the card, sorry. And it gives you the div divinatory meaning as well. Um, because it's it's a different, it's what well, it's a system within itself. You know, I like to spend time and kind of study these decks. So let's have a look at some of the um, cards that come with this deck. So they have gorgeous backs that I would say are reversible. Um, it's kind of like Fey kind of inspired. Um, lovely colouring. It's the Five of Wands. Let's turn them around. <laughs> So you've got the Three of Wands, the Eight of Swords, gorgeous, really gorgeous artwork, Six of Wands, but as I said, they do seem to be a system within within themselves, even though they do have the traditional kind of um, naming on the cards. So another deck that I want to be working with. Is this one? I keep it in this gorgeous case. This is called the Stretch Tarot by Joseph Stretch. Been wanting this deck for quite a while. I had it before the first edition, and my grandchildren threw it in the bath and damaged it. And I, was, I managed to get another copy recently. Um, it doesn't come with a guidebook, but it 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 comes with a printable PDF. But if you're familiar with the Rider Waite Smith system, um. You shouldn't find this deck is um difficult to read. I love the colour palette. I love the artwork. Just gorgeous. So you've got the Six of Cups. The Ten of Wands. It's just a cosy deck. The Lover's card. It's got a Victorian kind of feel to it. Six of... So Ten of Cups. And some of them have got keywords in there as well. Page of Cups. I don't mind keywords, to be quite honest. The four. Gorgeous. The Ace of Wands. And you've got the keyword creation. Another deck. Is this one. It's called The Influences of the um, Angels. By jo by Jody Barassi. Sorry if I butchered that name. Um, this deck I tend to kind of like use all year round um, for my clients that are kind of um, Christian. It's got here, includes 78 cards, two tarot reference cards to help with interpretations and readings and a 184 page guidebook. But what I like about this deck is that the guidebook, even though it's like a mini guidebook, is really kind of written in detail um, and stuff so um, for the major arcana it gives you the angel the symbols direct meanings and the shadow meanings it does that for each card so it's, you know it's it's got quite a lot of information compact 
into the guidebook. See how many pages the guidebook is. 183. Let's have a look at the cards. They come kind of edged, gold edging. Mine's chipping away a little bit because I use this thick quite a bit. Lovely um, backs. The cards are kind of like, um, I'd say kind of semi-gloss. Um, you've got suit, meeting, suit meaning, so it gives you the um, meanings for each of the suits. And then another card gives you the, the numerological um, meanings and the and this is the key word for the court cards and it's right away in, inspired I used this deck yesterday when I was doing a joint live with Job from the Blue Sick Tarot channel but it's it's just gorgeous I like the colouring, I like the artwork, and it's to me it's kind of like a gentle kind of deck as well. So it's the Terror of the Angels. And my final deck that I'll be using is this one. It's the Everyday Enchantment um, Tarot by Poppy Pelham. I love this deck. Um, it's one of my favourite kind of decks. Um, it kind of reminds me of the London that I was born and raised in. I found it very relatable. So let's have a look at the guidebook. So the Everyday Enchantment Tarot by Poppy Pellon, Finding Magic in the Mist of Your Life. You know, it just outlines the major and the minor arcana. And um, she gives some thoughts on how to use the deck. The illustrations are in black and white in the book. And there's quite a lot of useful information. Shorter gives you some keywords there as well for the major arcana. So I look forward to kind of working with this deck again. So if we look at some of the cards, they're quite large in size. Um, matte cardstock, nice and thick. The backs are fully reversible. But these cards really tell a story. So you've got the four of wands and the ones have got like a red kind of border to represent the um i guess the element of fire the, the uh, major kind of tends to have black borders it's diverse it's multicultural i, I just love it it's the might of wands this one here is the um the blade so the blades will be the swords Ten of blades um, and the border is kind of like a purplish to represent that suit the um, cups are have got like a blue border that kind of reminds me when I was in primary school and I done my 10 meters at school in swimming so this is the king of wands it's like a blind runner. And then you've got like the um the coins or the pentacle suit that's got like the the green border. So these are my autumn decks. I mean the, the, there's a few more that I I want to use, probably the Halloween um tarot, but, but I only use that for that particular season, not throughout the autumn period. So that's why I didn't highlight it in this video. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.